when you're in a wilderness survival situation, you don't have your doctor or your pharmacy that you can go to. So you got to use whatever Mother Nature gives you. And uh, a lot of times those plants, you know, we talk about the different kind of plants, some of them, and uh, those are useful. But what about in the, in the late, late fall and throughout the winter and very early spring when there isn't any plants up? Um, what if you get an infection or, or you start getting a virus bug or, or you get accidentally poisoned? What, then what do you use, you know, if the plants aren't there? And, uh, the answer to your question is actually going to be found right in your own fire. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to douse some of your fire and you're going to pull out a piece of char. And uh, this char is going to be your answer because what you're going to do is stone and you're going to scrape that, make a powder. And that powder is very useful. We can, uh, we, if we have a situation where you got a stomach flu or a cold coming on. This uh, can be put in water and drink, and that will help that. Char likes to soak stuff up, and uh, it'll uh, it'll soak up a lot of different things. And there's only two ways to get the char to release that. One is to finish burning it, and uh, the other is a, a plant root touches it, and there's a reaction could go on between the two and then it'll give it up to the plant. But otherwise it hangs on to it once it does that. Um, if you have a, a sore that's getting infected, <clears throat> this stuff is very good. You can uh, put it on something and put it on there and hold it, you know, wrap it. And uh, this stuff is very good at, at pulling infection out. Um, there's times when I get infection in my nails right here in the ends. And uh, I went to the doctor one time and he gave me some antibiotic and I took the whole 10 day and come back and, and uh, he ended up having to give me another 10 day and he told me that it's really hard for the antibiotic to get down in there. Well, since then when I get one of those, I, uh, I go ahead and I have some charcoal patches. I just put a little chunk of charcoal patch on there and uh, in two days it's gone. So, you know, this stuff's really good, you know, for a lot of different things that will draw quite a ways down in. So if you got infection start, this stuff's good stuff, you know. Um, if you don't have Band-Aids, then who's going to have Band-Aids when you're in a survival situation? But <clears throat> one of the things that uh, there are actually three different fungi that grow on white birds that's useful to us in a survival situation. You know, over in the fire section, you'll see the horse of fungus which is a shelf mushroom. Uh, the two shelf mushrooms are pretty handy. The, the uh, <clears throat> second shelf, uh, the horse of fungus, has a really crusty outside. And so it's, it's good for, for tinder for our fires, but it's the other one that's soft and spongy. It's white, and it's usually flatter. And that one's good for our, our band-aids. And that soft, spongy top, you can kind of cut uh, rectangle out of it, you can peel that top piece off and that can be used for band-aid and uh, you can sprinkle this char on it and then put that right on the spot and then wrap it and that works pretty good so you know this char is really good that's a good piece to know if you don't have plants and you can even use it when there are plants out this stuff is pretty powerful stuff and so uh, it works internal and it works external as well and so char is something really good to know in a survival situation.